In today's video, I'm going to talk about roofs in garden design renderings. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer, and I'll see you there. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools, and today's video is all about roofs. So this was a, an update in my workflow, let's say. So I purchased or I subscribed to a, an application, a, a plugin, let, uh, better said, to, for SketchUp. Uh, and this plugin is basically to do roofs. So, so far, my uh, approach to roofs and uh, other details in the architecture uh, would be just to do a simple roof uh, and just apply a texture to it. Okay, so I'll do more or less the shape of the roof without a lot of detail and just apply a terracotta tile um, uh, texture to it in Lumia. Okay, but suddenly last uh, week and a half two weeks ago i done a small uh, garden design uh, render for a client and it is really like a, a corridor garden and there was this image that i'm going to share with you now okay and it was this image these two images oh let me just go and put here I've rendered these images and I share with the client and then I look at the roof. So this for me, it was almost painful. Plus the windows are all um, outside, as you can see. So that was a mistake as well. Uh, but of course, your uh, main concern is the, the, the garden. But these images really showed to me that it was a mistake. I can do my rendering so much better with so much bigger impact if I had the better roof. Okay, so I went and looked for it. There is a couple of ways to do it. Of course, you can do it all on your own, uh, but I didn't want to waste a lot of time on that. So if you don't want to waste time on doing something, you have to pay for it. So I went and looked for the best plugin so far that I think is, is out there on the market, the best plugin for SketchUp uh, to make a roof. Very easy, very straightforward, okay? And I've purchased this just this last week. So I'm gonna share with you. So this is a roof uh, Nui, I don't know how you say it, N-U-I, okay? Instant Roof Nui uh, plugin. So this is actually a subscription. Uh, it's um, it was 38 euros, 39 dollars. They are American, um, and so far I'm really happy with it. Okay, because I didn't actually went and see any videos of how to do it, and straight away I did a roof on my on my on my project. So I will need to 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 study it a little bit more because you have quite a lot of details, um, quite a lot of things you can do. So basically, this is just a roof that I, I'm doing. I've done here. Um, but I really just want to show you um, uh, the tools. So basically you have this. So far, I will do another video once I've learned this better. But so far what I do is I make a roof. Of course, I didn't select. Let me just go here. I'm just going to delete this one. You delete the detail because actually you make the roof first and then you add the detail. So I'm just going to go here and select this face. Uh, so you make a roof. You have here some general settings. I, like I said, I'm just looking at this just this week and I didn't have a lot of time because I have a lot of projects going on. But as you can see here is quite detailed. So of course, I'm in Portugal. We have very much normally a terracotta style uh, tiling on our roof. So that's the one I've been using. Um, but this is the preset that of the last roof I've created. So I'm just going to leave like this. But as you can see here, you have quite a lot of details that you can do in your roofs. So I'll just press and make a roof. It gives me here some details of the roof. So as you can see here, it looks pretty good in terms of shape. And I didn't do nothing to it. This was the default settings. Trust me, I'm still studying it. And but uh, my tendency is always go first, try different things, then I go and research about it. So uh, that's the way I do it anyway. Um, so now you select everything. 
Okay, select the all the faces and I go here. You have this one, Dutch cables. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, make a donor uh, and what I want is roof details. So again, you have these uh, details um, and you can add here material. I think I did the roof tile Spanish, yes, and I aligned the slope. So basically, I believe is to align the texture with the slope of the roof. But again, I'm just showing you a quick show because I still need to study the, this um, this plugin. OK, let's just go and see. OK, and that's it. Look, it looks pretty good. Of course, you can see here the difference in the texture, but this is something I can work in Lumion as well after. Um, but it looks amazing, you know, for a really quick roof. It looks amazing. Um, so I just want to show you, I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to just save and uh, update it in Lumion. But before we go to this project, I'm just going to show you side by side these images with before and after. Okay, just so you can compare side by side. I'll let them the, in the end of the video as well. So as you can see here, it's a big difference. Okay. Look at this. Of course, you know, the texture, there are some mistakes here in terms of texture and I will need to work on it. But as you can see, it's such a big improvement in terms of, of the overall uh, design of your rendering. The impact of your rendering plus the windows are a bit um, inside as well. You still need to be a bit further in, but that's OK. But as you can see, I think and I, this was something that uh, I, um, some people comment on the videos that I really should make better roofs. Uh, but I really my approach was always the garden is the, my main concern. And this is where I want to waste all my energy into it. But I'm wasting here an opportunity as well. So if I have this plugin that's fairly easy, it's not going to wait uh, much more in my model. OK, because that's a big concern as well. Um, and it makes my rendering so much better, so much more realistic. You know, I think that's something that it might be worth for you. If this is your job, uh, if not just an hobby, if this is your job, I think it's something that you might need to think about investing. OK, so let's go. So as you can see here, this is just a, a normal roof done by me uh, and with the texture terracotta applied. So right now I'm going to go and update the model. So this looks OK. Uh, I still need to work on the textures. As you can see here, this is texture from the SketchUp. So it's all messed up in here. The scale is different than the other textures. So I will need to check that out. And I'm going to actually see what te uh, tile textures I have in sites like Polygon. I think that's a better approach to it. But as you can see, uh, comparing with what it was before the roof, it is much, much better. Uh, this level of detail of the tile, it looks much, much better. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I think it's a winner. I'm really happy about it. Um, yeah. I just need to work out the textures and how you can apply because I think you need to see some parameters in the actual uh, plugin there when you add the detail. But you have lots of different roofs and they are from um, North America. So you have all these uh, different types of roofs. Of course, in here I use more the traditional uh, terracotta style. Uh, tiling, uh, but I'm sure you can find uh, a type of roof uh, wherever you are in the world. So let me know what you think. Uh, the link for the, the actual uh, website from Valley Architects, they have other plugins that I think they are interesting. But for me, this one was the, the most important one. Uh, but let me know what you think. And if you had have any other plugins uh, that I think they are a good option as well. Uh, let me know. This one was the most straightforward. There is other ways to do it, but more steps and more work. I really wanted something just really, really quick that I can do it uh, fairly easy. Let me know what you think and I'll do an update video after when I've learned better this plugin. See you guys in the next one.